Ooh. Good Friday morning to the lot of you. It is day 44 on the world of Rush Mewing. Oh, 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 oh! Back off! Whoa! Shouldn't you guys be fighting each other? Whoa! There's a way to start start an episode. I still feel like everything's so loud. All right, all right, all right. So day 44, what shall we do? I have plenty of supplies on my person. Uh, I'm still not sure what to do about this. I mean, it's obviously not quite lined up. This one's pretty good right here. But then again, that one goes nowhere. Nowhere at all. Whew, I do not have a specific topic in mind. I'm sorry to say. Can you guys, do you guys have any suggestions that you can give me in time? Hmm? Yes? No? Hey! Right, there you go. Oh. Shush. Holy. Hmm. Hmm. I need to learn better how to stylize stuff. Like I've, I've, I haven't been watching BWO quite as much as I have, um, like beef. But hey, 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 hey! Whoa! Whoa! Rata. Hmm. I say that a lot, don't I? Uh, you know, like I said, I haven't been watching. B double O as much as beef, but I have been watching them probably second most. And you know, from among the Minecraft uh, sorry, Minecraft folk. But that said, he definitely has a way with stylized design. He's got a lot of practice under his belt. And uh, you know, I don't want to copy. I want my own you know flavor, but at the same time I want to be that good I realize wanting to be good at Minecraft is probably a silly thing, but if I'm gonna do anything, I might as well be good. Oh, ow, no! Might as well be good at it. So, how's this gonna work? Hmm. Oh, oh, you know what? Ooh. Hello, Migmatite. How you do? Oh, you. But, oh my gosh. More Migmatite. Let's see, what have I got? Let's see, make a little bit more. Ooh, ooh, let's get some iron down. And some gold. Chalk shouldn't even... I don't know. Alright, let's, uh... Doesn't matter quite so much if these aren't... Perfectly aligned units. Does it? I'm just gonna have to do something about that one right there. We got more? Eh, not the right stuff though. There we go. I'm schmott. Oh, I was complaining a minute ago, wasn't I? I forget about what. What's on my mind lately? Mm. I mentioned I wanted to make a interpreter between two game types yesterday, but I don't have a strong idea yet on how to do that. So I'm not gonna really talk about that any further, not for the moment. All right, let's see. Shut up. Rats, shut up. Is it near dark, is it near light? It looks like it's light side. Light side, whatever that means. I should catch a rat. Can I name a rat? Can I tame a rat? Is that possible? I actually don't know. <laughs> I do not know if that is feasible. Look at that. Hmm. I'll start sorting things out better than I have already. This should be removed. Shut up! Did he just come down off the ceiling? 
There you are. Whoa. He dropped two rats worth of rat meat. Huh. Huh? Huh? Indeed. Indeed. Oh, Bumpcut, son of a crap. <laughs> I don't have a topic in mind. I'm so sorry. Oops, I don't belong there. Tink, tink, tink. Big my tight. Now, in terms of subtleties, without getting into different color, because anything right now against that blue is going to look funny. Unless maybe a gray. But the solid blue would offer the opportunity to have a subtle. Now it's too for unfortunate that the you don't have steps, so that's going to make that a bit blockier than it would have to be. But they've added so many new rock types, it probably is too much work to try to make all those blocks, uh, all the step versions. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Hold on. I might be. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I can make those, though. Well, that's not really what I'm looking for. This, however, is... Oh! That's not what I wanted. Do this instead. Okay. What? A spider? What are you doing here? Hmm. I'm still not sure. <sighs> so hey, the uh, the government shutdown is over, but not at oh, what the heck? So I can't get up there? How have I been? Oh, I see. Okay, so... Yeah. Not after it cost $24 billion. Which th certainly goes uh, flies right in the face of... Um, the, the supposed context presented by the Republicans, or at least the Tea Party in this circumstance, that this is about fiscal responsibility. I'm like, really? Twenty-four billion dollars spent on nothing is fiscal responsibility. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, sorry, I do tend to skew Democratic, not strictly, and I I have voted for some Republicans in the past. Um, it's all context, folks. Who you it, you have to vote for a person, not for a party. If you're voting for a party, you really have basically eliminated your the value of your vote to nothing. Parties can be corrupted. Individuals can be corrupted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see. That's better. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa. Uh, I'm just frustrated. I'm glad the... Well, see, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say I'm glad the Republicans didn't get anything out of this travesty. However, they, the people who employ them did get something out of it. And when I say that, I mean the 1%. And I'm not even talking about the whole Republican Party. I'm just talking about the minority who engineered and kept this farce going. Um, bear with me. I'm still kind of trying to decide what this is going to accomplish. I realize what I, the building's going to need a second deck. Ah! Not to be helped in any way by that maneuver. I'm just trying to decide what that's going to be like. Oh, corner of the building should probably have to go away. Which is actually works fine for this. Oh, so that means those are going to have to go. Ooh. Free coal. That looks fine. 
but not that. Gosh, I don't know. Indecision is undecided. Ooh, hey, just enough. Uh, let's see, put this way. Anything else worth doing in this batch? Actually, that gravel's not supposed to be there. Actually, that's not supposed to be there either. Oops, oops, oops. Gravel, please. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. I'm sorry. There we go. Let us make a thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not stupid. I'm just missing something. All right, let's go on a little bit of a quest and get away from this Goram spider. So, yeah. I just don't know what to tell you guys. Um, oh, gosh, 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 gosh. Oh, there's some right there. It's a nice beach. So, yeah. The, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. About the uh, shutdown. They got what they wanted. Uh, that is, the people who actually engineered this farce as I called it they got what they wanted because what they wanted was to give the economy and the working class a black eye fearful afraid people you know you, you gotta say it uh, twice uh, you know you gotta be redundant in order to really drive home the message but these uh, but fear is probably the primary motivator for 99.99999% of people. Or, at the very least, for 100% of people, maybe, 99, whatever, fear changes how they behave. And it usually does that... It, does, ooh, it usually does that in a predictable and exploitable way. And the 1%, the, the people who exploit the masses for their personal gain... Uh, in a sociopathic way. There are a couple people in the 1% who are decent. Because it is possible to become incredibly wealthy through ingenuity and creativity and hard work. It is. It's just, it's a lot easier to become super wealthy through the mass exploitation and abuse of working people. And everybody, you know, taxpayers. That's how, that's, that's the easier way. So, when you have a path of least resistance to a particular place, the majority of people who get there will be of a certain ilk, you could say. Oh, let's get rid of these. And that, so right now, the 1% is largely comprised of sociopaths, with a couple of exceptions. Um, and because the mechanism by which they are so rich is the exploitation of workers, basically the fleecing of the world... The more they can, the more insecure they can make working people, the more they can control them, and the more they can profit from them without those, you know, basically take all of the profit created by workers. Profit is not created by the CEOs; it is created by the people who do the work, and but it is taken by those one percenters. Um, and there was a time when that wasn't as true. You know, when you when you create a business. And you do all... Because running a business is not easy. I'm not going to tell you that they're just sitting back doing nothing. However, the fact of the matter is they're not doing the level of work that can explain the amount of pay they're getting. Except insofar as they're basically taking the profit created by their workers and keeping it for themselves exclusively. And considering that worker pay when you account for inflation, has actually gone down over the last 30 or 40 years at the same time that productivity, as in how much a person can accomplish in a given hours of work, has skyrocketed because of technology and stuff like that. The entire difference has been stolen by the 1%, where 
even as the actual workers' pay goes down. And and that's what they're trying to accomplish. That is the entire thing. And when you make people insecure about their jobs and insecure about their future, then they will take more abuse than they would if they had a solid footing and um, sense of security about, hey, I can stand up for myself, or hey, I'm doing pretty good work. I deserve slightly more pay. You're not going to do that when you're afraid that you're going to lose your job or, you know, in a year or something, you won't have a job and you won't even be able... Oh, crap. That you won't even be able to get one because the economy has changed so much. So this whole... This government shutdown, immediately 900,000 people had no work. Instantly. But almost as instantly... I mean, literally starting the same day as and rippling outward from there is the fact that the people who had jobs tangential to those government workers, like the little old Korean, the, well, she's not old, the little Korean lady downstairs from me, she had no customers left because most of the building I work in is government people, like two-thirds of the building. I'm not, but I'm more counter-government <laughs> um, or more like government referee in my job description, but... God, the volume seems to be out of control. But, uh... Is that enough? <sighs> I'm sorry. Yes, okay. I was, it's been such a long time I'd nearly forgotten. Seriously. Volume. And I need a couple of these. Excellente. Uh, I'm going to need shelves at some point. Hmm. Ah. 45 friggin' levels, yo. Jeez. I'm thinking I might use some Migmatite. the unfinished stuff over here. That's better. Maybe this building could use some Migma type blocks. Well, regardless. This this shutdown, you, you can say the Republican Party didn't get any of their demands met. However, the 1% people who employ the Tea Party people, whether they know it or not, there's so many Tea Party grassroots people who don't even know that they're doing exactly what the 1% want to do, want them to do. And that's the sad part. It's a lack of information and then complete lack, or absolute lack of lack of misinformation. Oh, gosh. But, um, yeah. This, this was a big black eye to the economy. And any black eye to the economy makes people more afraid and when they're more afraid, they're more manipulable. And not only because they're less willing to stand up for themselves at the workplace, but also because when they when they when they get um, scared, they get tribal. And right now, you have two tribes in the United States: you have liberal and you have conservative. They're both wrong. They're both the words don't even apply to them. You have when you're talking liberal, conservative, progressive, or authoritarian or you know regulationist these are words that have meaning in contexts they are not tribes they don't describe people i am all for depending on what the topic is i'm conservative about wanting to preserve ecosystems and the f the fabric of life that allows us to survive because the word conservative means wanting to keep things the way they are resisting change that's all it means so when you have a Republican who wants to take away women's, you know, reproductive rights and stuff, that is not keeping things the way they are because that's not the way things are right now. So you are, tr you are pressing for change, which makes you a progressive towards a bad thing. However, because um, in a situation where – let me do a little – just something really cheap. Efficiency. Uh, I guess that's good for getting more obsidian. Sharpness. 
It's just I'm not going to spend much right now. Efficiency. Eh. I have armors, right? Uh, sorry, I do get distracted really easy. Projectile projection. <laughs> okay. Um, gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, sorry, I'm distracted. But I'm, you know, I'm progressive about wanting to fix things. Whenever you want to fix something, to, you're saying I want to change it. So when you want to change something, you're progressive, but you're only progressive about that thing you want to change, right? So it's, you know, and, and to be liberal means permissive. You will allow something to happen. So I'm I'm liberal about people's private lives. I want if in the safety and privacy of their own homes, you can be whatever gender and, you know, whatever you like. As long as you don't hurt somebody else, fine. Just keep it to yourself. Hmm? That's liberal. However, if you are a one percenter, then you are very liberal about the free reign of banks and oil companies and stuff like that that, that do incredible harm across the planet. But they're perfectly permissive. Oh, you can do whatever you want because profit is all that matters. Hmm, okay, so you're that's that's what the rest of the world calls neoliberalism, even though the United States calls it neoconservatism. Because so, uh, you know, the point is. These words are misused, intensely misused, but they have the, the, there's this fiction in the United States and probably most around the world with just slightly different names of two tribes, you know, the, the conservative and the liberal. And as long as both of them, as long as their membership, the 40, you know, the 99.9% .9 of the people in each of them who are regular everyday people just trying to live their lives safely and happily then they're going to turn on each other when they're afraid because the other tribe seems to be different. They must be the enemy. And they're not the enemy. They are almost identical to you. They're, some of their circumstances of their lives are different. But that's, as long as you took the moment to try to understand what it is they're going through, then you can sympathize with them. And they're not the enemy. The only enemy are the sociopathic people, the ones who are exploiting us all. And they know that what they're doing is hurting us all, but because they like profit more, they're willing to do it. That is the definition of sociopath, doing something that hurts people even though you know it does. The only thing worse than that is psychopath, which is doing things that you know hurt people and enjoying it. That's psychopath. So these, the 1% is largely sociopathic, and they are the only enemy, and even they are, to a certain extent, afraid. And they just have the power to collect so much stuff but why are they collecting what do they what do they think is going to happen if they don't collect all this wealth you know so yeah i've talked too much um i'm past due apparently my my episodes have shifted now that i'm clocking out at the early morning instead of at midnight but oh well uh thanks for dealing with my rant and thanks for watching i haven't really accomplished much have i I'll, I'll take a moment later to think about this building. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like the video, even if you hated it. And please come again for Monday's episode number 45. Thank you.